China is rapidly overthrowing America on the global economic stage. Since the global financial crisis, the U.S. economy has decayed and declined, while the Chinese economy has skyrocketed, recording what some define as miracle economic growth year after year. The Eastern superpower has established itself as the key trading partner of most countries in the world. It is now a leading position in global supply chains. It produces more commodities and automobiles, and it exports more tech than the United States. It sends way more goods to America every year than America exports goods to China. In fact, our trade deficit with China has become the largest trade deficit that one nation has had with another nation in the history of the world. On top of all that, China has now accumulated more than $1 trillion of U.S. national debt in its reserves. And every single year, we lose hundreds of thousands of jobs to China. In other words, if the global economy was a game, America would be losing very badly and China would have all the momentum. If you do not believe that China is wiping the floor with America in the front of the rest of the world, keep tuned with us to discover some mind-blowing stats about the rise of the Chinese economy and the downfall of the US economy in the global market. But before checking this list, please support us by leaving a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel so you don't miss our future videos. Without further ado, here are 30 signs that China is absolutely destroying America. 1. According to IMF calculations, the average purchasing power of Chinese consumers is 1.18 times higher than the purchasing power of U.S. consumers. 2. The IMF's purchasing power parity method, which takes into account the effect of exchange rates, making it the best method for comparing gross domestic product, or GDP, by country, indicates that in 2019, China officially became the largest producer in the world. While the Chinese economy produced $22.5 trillion, the U.S. economy only produced $20.5 trillion. Three, World Bank data shows that with each passing year, the Chinese GDP is getting closer to the U.S. GDP. In 1960, China's gross domestic product was 13% of U.S. GDP. By 2021, that number jumped to 73%, a five-fold increase. Four, since 1970, China's maximum GDP growth rate was 19.3%. Meanwhile, the U.S.'s maximum GDP growth rate during the same period was 7.24%. GDP growth rate was negative in eight years for the U.S. On the flip side, China only showed negative growth in four years. Five, according to World Factbook data, China is ahead of the U.S. in agriculture and industry sectors. The agriculture output of the United States is only 17.58% of China and 77.58% for the industry sector. Six, after China joined the World Trade Organization, the WTO in 2001, the Chinese economy grew at an annual rate of 10% for a decade, while the US's share of the world economy shrank to almost half to 22% during that span. 17. China's sustained miracle economic growth over the past four decades, at an average rate four times of the U.S., has redefined the global economic order. 8. China has replaced the U.S. as the primary engine of global economic growth. Since the 2008 financial crisis, China accounts for one-third of all growth in the world's GDP. 9. Over the past two decades, China has overtaken the United States to become the manufacturing workshop of the world. 10. China has become the number one trading partner of most nations in the world. In 2001, 
The year China joined the World Trade Organization, over 80% of countries had a larger volume of trade with America than China. By 2018, that figure was down to 30%, with two-thirds of countries, or 128 out of 190, trading more with China than the United States. 11. Equally important, 90 countries traded more than twice as much with China as with America. 12. According to the Department of Energy, China refines 60% of the world's lithium, 80% of the world's cobalt, and mines 68% of the world's graphite, three core inputs to high-capacity batteries. On top of that, China controls over 90% of the total global supply of rare earth elements. 13. Over the past 20 years, China has also established itself as the most essential link in the world's critical global supply chains. 14. In 2020, China replaced the U.S. as the home to the largest number of the most valuable global companies on Fortune's Global 500 for the first time. It has also rivaled the U.S. as the leading country in attracting foreign investment. 15. China is the world's largest exporter, and the U.S. has fallen to third place. In 2020, China exported 2.5 trillion in goods. The EU is second at $2.3 trillion, while the United States is third, exporting $1.7 trillion. 16. China is on track to overtake the United States as the world's number one economy by 2027, according to Goldman Sachs chief economist Jim O'Neill. 17. In 2021, China shipped $461.7 billion worth of goods to the United States. At the same time, the U.S. exports to China were only $106.5 billion, meaning that there's a $355 billion U.S. trade deficit with China. 18. On the other hand, the United States is the world's largest importer spending $2.6 trillion in foreign goods in 2021, while China is the world's third largest importer. In 2018, it imported $2.1 trillion. 19. China is the second largest foreign holder of U.S. Treasuries. As of August 2020, it owned $1.1 trillion in Treasuries. The country buys U.S. debt to support the value of the dollar. This is because China pegs its currency, the yuan, to the U.S. dollar. But its role as America's largest banker gives it enormous leverage. For instance, China can devalue its currency when needed to keep its export prices competitive. And whenever the U.S. pressures it to raise the yuan's value, China threatens to sell part of its treasury holdings, which would collapse the value of the dollar instead. 20. In 2021, China's global trade surplus surged to $676.4 billion in 2021. That's the highest ever for any country, as exports jumped 29.9% over a year earlier despite semiconductor shortages that disrupted manufacturing. 21. In 1998, the United States had 25% of the world's high-tech export market, and China had just 10%. In 2021, China's high-tech exports are more than twice the size of the United States' high-tech exports at 29%, U.S. technology exports account for only 12%. 22. Today, over 90% of all computers are manufactured in China. 23. On the flip side, America has lost 34% of all of its high-tech manufacturing jobs since 2001. 24. China is the world's largest producer of vehicles, 
manufacturing over 21 million cars and 4.36 million commercial vehicles in 2020. The United States is the second largest car producer in the world, although it produces less than half of what China does, manufacturing over 2.5 million cars and 8.37 million commercial vehicles. 25. Since the turn of the century, the United States has lost 3.7 million manufacturing jobs to China. 26. Back in the year 2000, over 20% of all jobs in America were manufacturing jobs. Right now, only about 5% of all jobs in America are manufacturing jobs. 27. According to estimates released by the Economic Policy Institute, America is going to lose half a million jobs to China this year. 28. Based on Pew Research Center's income band classification, China's middle class has been among the fastest growing in the world, swelling from 39.1 million people, or about 3.1% of the population in 2000, to roughly 707 million, nearly 50.8% of the population in 2020. This amounts to an increase of 667.9 million, or 47.8 percentage points. 29. In contrast, the U.S. middle class has been shrinking at an alarming rate. The share of American adults who live in middle-income households has decreased from 61% in 1971 to 47% in 2021. 30. China produced 16% of all the goods consumed in the world in 2021. The United States only produced 12%. We have been shipping high-tech jobs overseas at a blistering pace. Every single year we lose more jobs, we lose more businesses, and we lose more of our national wealth to China. In America, a great disconnect between corporate earnings and worker wages has taken place over the past five decades. Just because big corporations in the U.S. are reporting record profits, that does not mean they're going to provide good jobs for workers in the U.S. Ever since China joined the World Trade Organization, it has become way too easy for big corporations to ship jobs to Chinese markets, where it's perfectly legal to pay workers extremely low wages. At the same time, as the number of manufacturing jobs declines in America, so does the middle class. This also means that the number of Americans dependent on the government has been steadily increasing. Unless systemic changes happen, the U.S. will be left with chronic structural underemployment and unemployment problems for decades to come. To make things worse, there are many pieces of evidence suggesting that the U.S. economy is about to experience another downturn, and the coming recession may be the leverage China needs to finally overthrow America on the global economic stage. In short, China is beating the living daylights out of us, and if we want to preserve the status of world's wealthiest country, we must start stepping up our game right now.